Hello and welcome to another episode of Digital Insight with IntelliDivide. Today we are going to look how to work with cutting templates in IntelliDivide and why templates are needed in the first place. Here we go. So why are templates needed? Therefore, I would like to show you another benefit here in IntelliDivide because we have um, online documentation um, that is describing how to work and how to use IntelliDivide and you find manuals. For instance, you find a manual for working with templates. So if you start this chapter on our documentation side, you will find here this uh, subchapter working with templates and we have two use cases described here. The first one, see here, this is um, yeah, a grain um, grain um, door and a grain drawer and we want to use the template for grain matching. As you remember, IntelliDivide is trying to optimize each single part in the um, raw panel and uh, without templates it might be that the parts are oriented anywhere and will be turned somehow in the board just to achieve the best yield. But to keep parts together, it's necessary to put them in a kind of template. So this is the first use case. The second use case is what you can see here. Uh, this is a cabinet uh, with very small drawer front elements. And if you want to uh, process such a small part on an edge bending machine, because you want to apply edges on this uh, board, especially on the on the small side it's um, yeah very difficult to apply edge and it's much better to keep parts together then apply the edge in the next step and then afterwards cut uh, these parts into these single parts also here the idea is to keep these parts together by using a template and i would like to show you now how to work and how to use a template for this kind of cabinet. So I prepared already the parts list in IntelliDivide and you see here we have in the first, in the first four lines we have these front elements uh, with the, they have all the same length but different width and now I want to assign a template or assign these single parts to a special template. And therefore we have a column called template and you can just click very easily here on this uh, button and then you can choose a template from our library and we need now a template with four parts. And you just select the template here by clicking. Then you can define if there should be a, a grain orientation or not. In our case, I remember they were they were oriented in the length wise, uh, the grain for these elements, and now you uh, assign the position inside the template for the first part, and I define the first part should be placed here, and then I confirm this. Now you get the list and you get an overview here or a preview of the position of the part. The same you can do for the second part. Or you can very easily just do double click inside the cell and because we have already one template in use then I get here the suggestion to use uh, once again the same template but of course another position here the right top corner and here on the left bottom and the right bottom and so I the template is now full with the four parts and by the way when you're going to assign uh, parts to a template. We are creating an additional list here in IntelliDivide. So beyond the parts list we have now a cutting list because IntelliDivide is creating now a new part um, by combining all these single parts. Uh, so this is now the new uh, template part where the four single, uh, single front elements are together and you can create a preview 
of this element uh, with the real dimensions. So here you can cross-check, okay, was everything fine? And did I uh, uh, assign the correct uh, parts to the correct position in my template? But this looks fine, looks exactly like the front of my um, furniture. And then always the same, just here click on optimize. And now IntelliDivide uh, begins with the optimization. Okay, now here we go, here we see the result. Now you see something new in the overview. You see this orange part, and this is now the template part. It's marked in this orange color that you as an operator can identify very easily. Okay, this is my template part where all the four um, single fronts are com combined together. And on the right hand, here you see with the Goldcraft Oak material, with, uh, you see now the cutting plan for this template. Then you can do this in the second step. So that means in the first step, you just cut out the template. All parts are still together. And then in the second process, in the second cutting plan, you can cut out now each single part. And now the grain is matching. We have now reached the end of this episode. As you can see, working with cutting templates makes your optimization process much easier. In the next episode, we will look how you can compare different optimization solutions and use the results depending on your use case.